So question number seven, I have this parabola and I have point P, which is one zero. So I'm going to put point P here at one zero. Show that P is not on the graph. Well, I can see it's not on the graph. So um, I've got, I want to show that F of one does not equal zero. And F of one equals one squared plus three times one plus five, which is one plus three plus five, which is nine. So since F of one equals nine, P is not on F of X. Okay, in part B, consider the point to be on the graph. Find the slope of the line connecting P and Q. I'm gonna put point Q there where Q has the coordinates A and F of A. And the slope will be the gradient between the two. So it's going to be, so the slope will be Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Y2 is going to be F of A minus zero over A minus one. And F of A is, so it's going to equal A squared plus 3A plus 5 all over A minus 1. So there is my slope. Find the slope of the tangent to the graph of F at the point of Q in terms of A. So find the slope of the tangent. So that will be f dash of a, take the derivative of f of x, and f of x equals x squared plus 3x plus 5, therefore f dash of x will equal 2x plus 3, therefore the gradient will be 2a plus 3. So the slope, 2a plus 3, and that's of the tangent. Over the page, find let the tangent to the graph at x equals a pass through the point P. So this is an equation of tangents that pass through the point P. And I will have f dash of a equals f of a, sorry, f of a minus d over a minus c if it goes through the point C, D. So I want F dash of A to equal F of A minus zero over A minus one. And that makes sense because I'm looking at my gradient triangle here and my rise is F of A, but my run is A minus one. So I'm going to have, find the values of A. So F dash of A, I know, because I just worked that out. And that's going to be 2A plus 3 is going to equal A squared plus 3A plus 5 on top of A minus 1. Move that over and I will have 2A plus 3 times a minus one equals a squared plus three a plus five. So two a squared minus two a plus three a is plus a minus three equals a squared plus three a plus five. That will give me, move everything to the left, a squared minus two a minus two equals zero. Uh, when the five goes over, it's negative, so minus eight. So I can A and A, 4 and 2 with the negative on the 4. So A equals 4 or negative 2. So find, sorry. Let the tangent for, find the values of A. So they're my two values of A. Give the equation of one of these lines that pass through the point P. So let's take the point at A equals four. 
So I know that the gradient will be 2 times 4 plus 3, so 8 plus 3, 11, and it will go through the point 4 and 4 squared plus 3 times 4 plus 5, 16 plus 12 plus 5, 28 plus 5 is 33. Therefore, I'm going to have y minus 33 equals 11x minus 4. y will equal 11x minus 44 plus 33. Or y will equal 11x plus 11. Minus 44 plus 33 minus 11. That's the equation if you had have chosen 4. It only asks for you to chose 1. You could have easily have chosen when a equals negative 2. And part c, find the value of k that gives the shortest possible distance between the graph of the function and this particular point here. So I've got this parabola. And I'm going to move it k units to the right. And I want it to be the closest possible position to this position here. I know this parabola has a turning point at x equals minus 2a on b, which will be minus 2 on top of 3. So that's minus 2 minus b on top of 2a. So that's going to be minus 3 on top of 2. So that's minus 3 on 2. I would like to move my equation to the right to the point where it is the closest. And it's going to be the closest when the turning point sits here, and this is my parabola with the turning point, and the distance from P to the curve will be the shortest when the turning point is directly above. So I believe it's got to move across 3 on 2 and another one 5 on 2. Therefore, k should equal 5 on 2 for the distance to be the shortest possible distance. And that's question 